Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus VivoBook laptop. This is a, the model is an X505Z model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and replace your battery. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or you simply want to replace it or remove it, let's call it. You can do it really easy, it's not, it takes up to probably 5 minutes and you can do this at home. I'll try to get the link for the new batch. I'll leave it in the video uh, comment, video description, I'll say. And, and let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop and you want to grab yourself an opening tool. I use the iFixit screwdriver set and we are going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, a curved tweezers is handy to have and a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really handy to opening cases and covers. All right, with this on hand, let's get to it. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws, the one on the middle too. They all screws are the same size and height, so go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in one pile. So don't worry about mismatching them, it's starting in one corner. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helping you, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Now that we remove them, we're gonna grab the opening tool and we are gonna open up the laptop in 45 degree angle, just like that. And let me see. And you're gonna stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like this. And we are gonna twist it inward. So pretty much I'm twisting it like this inside and you want to hear big click sounds that's what you want to hear every one or two centimeters you want to keep doing this so that the clips that they're getting loose so you want to do this all around remember i'm only sticking about two millimeters i'm not sticking the whole thing inside the model computer up to two or three millimeters and then i'm just twisting it back inward i'm going to do this all around towards the back you could do the back end if you want to, but because of the space and stuff like that, if you want, you can skip this part. Let me see if I can stick it right there. So you could do the back, let's for the heck of the video, let's go ahead and do it. You can close it up a little bit, not all the way, and just twist the back, just like that when you see that opening. And before close, closing up the lid completely, you want to open it up and gently, slowly lift up the palm rest, but do not go all the way. You want to go up to 45 degrees, but there's a flex cable that we need to remove. There's a flex cable, this small one is for the trackpad and this is for the keyboard. So you want to stick your fingernail at the back of this big lock right in here on the black one, and you want to lift it up 90 degrees. Bring it up 90 degrees. No, not too much, I was going to break it 90 degrees. And then you want to slide the flex cable back. Same thing on this one. On the back, there's a tiny clip on the jack. And then slide it out. And now you can remove the palm rest. There you go. Those clips are here. So I'm just going to lock it down for now. Push it back. And we can see the battery right over here. I don't know why they don't put the spe specs of the battery right on this side. It's on the other side. To remove the battery, you need to remove one screw right in here. And what you want to do, you want to push this trigger with your finger on this side towards the left while you lift up the battery from the middle. So push it and lift it up and bring it up. And then it's like, you don't need to push this trigger, just lift it up. And there's your battery disconnecting from the motherboard. And it says ASUS, it's a 42 watt hour battery at 11.55 volt. And the model for this one is right over here. It is a V31N1631. So I tried to get the link for this one and I'll leave in a video description so you guys can purchase yours. Now to put the battery back in, it's simply you wanna flip it upside down, make sure this connector is almost over this one here. You wanna press this side underneath the jack. Bring it down, align the screw holes, and then you want to push this side down, make sure it clicks all the way in, and then push down the battery, connect it all the way in, and put the single screw right on top. 
All right, once we're done with that, all you need to do is to grab the palm rest. Before we do anything, just open up the lock, bring it up 90 degrees on both of them. Bring the palm rest close by. I'm gonna first put this track pad, slide this one into the jack. You wanna slide it while the lock is open. And then you wanna close it down. And then make sure the lock is open. And now grab this flex cable. And you wanna slide it right through there. Then lock it down. There we have it. Once you have it in this position, just bring it down. Now what you wanna do, you just wanna pinch the top and the bottom. You wanna hit those click sound. You wanna do all around on the back. You wanna press down in here. All around. Whatever you see opening and just pinch them down. And that should be all. Now, it is very important how you're gonna charge and discharge your battery if you wanna, uh, for you to last longer. I recommend you do not power on the laptop once you replace the battery. Leave it unplugged and leave it turned off and plug it in and leave it charging for at least five to six hours. After five to six hours, what you wanna do, you wanna power it on without the charger connected and let it drain the battery down all the way to 15 or 20%. Once it's drained down, you want to power it off. And once it's off, you want to leave it charging for another five to six hours. After that, five to six hours, you can power it on the way you wish, connect it or disconnect it, and use it the way that you normally do. And that way, first initial charge and discharge, it is really important for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, Feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.